I paint, print, collage, and draw with a sewing machine to make works for the wall. This is Lay Inlet, a quiet little inlet where I lived for 15 years in Washington State before moving just recently to Durham, North Carolina. About 20 years ago, I began to make fabric into sculpture, the kind of sculptures that would stand on their own without armatures or stiffening agents. But since fabric is supposed to drape and be supple, this really went against the grain. The technique I was trying to develop didn't come easily until it occurred to me that I could think of the cloth not as fabric, but as wood. Maybe then I could figure out ways to stiffen it. That shift in perspective allowed me to stop thinking in textile terms, but rather like a manufacturer or a woodworker or someone who makes plywood out of very thin sheets of wood that's glued together. I've continued to work in this way for two-dimensional pieces that can float on a hidden frame the way Lay Inlet does. This paradigm shift takes me to Wendell Castle's ghost clock, where we are drawn to whatever appears to be a protective sheet over a grandfather clock. On closer examination, the sheet is not some supple draped fabric, but carefully carved and stained wood, and as much a part of the sculpture as the Mm, clock hidden underneath. I wonder if Castle had to think like a textile person to achieve that perfect drape. There's mystery too, and I love the idea of what's hiding in plain sight. Is time perhaps easier to understand if we don't know what time it is? As every craftsperson knows, time can't become a part of the consideration when you are in the making process. Time just disappears. <laughs>